What's up, everybody? It's Billionaire PA, man. I'm speaking my dreams into existence. Online prosperity, man. We over here not just speaking, but we executing these dreams into existence. And y'all already know if you if you follow me, but you should not follow me, lead with me. Send this video to Oprah, man, and I'll be in Australia real soon. Stay positive. Have a wealthy day. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of Online Prosperity Show, and today we've got none other than Billionaire PA. Billionaire, how are you today? Man, I'm doing I'm doing pretty good, man. I'm over here in Los Angeles, California, speaking my dreams into existence. It's 9.36 p.m., and soon as I get finished with you, I'm going to be executing and living some more dreams, but I'm thankful to be living this dream with you. Great stuff. And Billionaire PA wants to change one billion people's lives and it's going to start with you who is watching this right now and he's got one simple message speak your dreams into existence and speak them out okay this is such a moving uh message that i saw myself at a ted talk that he did and he literally said that his motivation cannot be contained in the little circle that they have there now billionaire pa this motivation here Yes, sir. Where is this all coming from? Um, my motivation, man, it comes from um, seeing my mother being told she would never walk again. My motivation comes from my daddy got hit and he was in a coma and they told him that he would never make it. I've been to jail over 15 times. I don't put, I, I was atheist or didn't believe in a God until I was 22, just had lack of faith. Um, you know, uh, I've, I've seen a lot of negative things go on in this world. I've been in jail over 15 times before I was 21. All of this stuff that people call as negative, I don't call it as negative because it made me a better person and my outcome has become positive. Um, it made, it inspired me. That, that is why I say no man or woman will stop me from executing my dreams. I don't care if you like me, if you don't like me. At the beginning, you said uh, this man wants to. It, to me, is not a want. It is something that I am going to do. It's not that this man wants to inspire billions of people. This man will inspire billions of people and nobody will stop me from executing his dream. And that's where my drive comes it comes from. When I slept in my truck for, you know, 63 days and I was homeless for three months, three years, I hated the fact of being broke. I hate broke so much that it should be a crime to have gifts and be broke. And I'm <laughs> going to make sure that I, I never go back to that situation in my life again. And I'm going to do everything I can. That's why I'm so motivated man you see right behind me it looked like I got a checkered wall that is not a checkered wall that is a white wall with black dreams on it those people that walk into my office they write their dreams on my dream wall I am motivated to inspire billions of people to create dream walls in their home and call them wealthy minds dream wall if you have a home and you have an office we need to start writing concrete dreams on our walls and putting it up there and call it wealthy minds you know what I'm saying that's what I'm speaking into existence everyone in the entire world will build a dream wall in their home to encourage them daily to speak their dreams into existence and you write the things down on your dream wall that you desire to manifest right okay so with the dream wall is that what inspired the book uh, wealthy minds or is that something that just came about because of your journey no nah, what inspired the book is i was sleeping in the back of my truck and i just wrote quote like it's okay for your pockets to be broke just make sure your mind makes sense i wrote quotes like i never uh never spend your present time with a person that you don't have a future with i wrote quotes like tie yourself to great greatness before failure chokes you what i had to do when i was homeless was deactivate my my broke man I had to deactivate my broke mentality and then reactivate it to what I call a wealthy mindset. So all the broke thoughts that I had, which is why I do not say the word T-R-Y. I do not say the word F-A-I-L-U-R-E. I do not say the word C-A-N apostrophe T. I don't say those words because those words stop the brain from thinking. And the brain, quote, the mind is one of the most powerful things that people will ever have the power of thinking there are millions of people on the face of this earth that don't even use their brain to think 
I'm going to use my brain to think and manifest billions of dollars into existence. I'm going to use my brain and mind to manifest billions of people, cultures coming together, black people, white people, Australian people, America. I don't want us, I don't want us to fight no more. My dream is to bring all people together and uh, for us to speak one common dream into existence, which is just love. And that's what we're going to spread. I'm not asking people if this is what we do. I'm literally telling you, this is the dream that I will speak and manifest. All right. So obviously, in the world that we live in with uh, all the negativity and all the news and uh, drama that we face every single day, how can one person who is not as motivated as you keep on top of their mind? Because this is another really big game ball right, right there. I mean, to be honest, man, you it's so much negativity that goes on in this world that you have to stop you have to stop giving energy to the people that do nothing for you and give more energy to the people who support you. And you want something concrete to do. You need to spend your time around other people who think like you would like to think if you don't think like that. So if you don't like your situation, what is your dream to be? And you have to start hanging out with those type of people. You know, I didn't have the best day today, but I had the best friends. And I hung out with the best friends so I could have the best day, the best energy, or to have a better tomorrow. And that's what you have to do in order for your dreams to come true. This isn't something I'm not here to just uplift you and motivate you. This is what I do. I do this every day. I call, when I'm feeling down, I call people who say, don't go to the doctor, come sit with me and let's meditate first. Great stuff. And if you maybe come across somebody who is really not motivated um do you spend time with them or do you just let them be or are they part of your billion people or do you just want to work with people that are motivated my dream is just to um just let you know that you will not be holding me back you know what i'm saying and my in my is bro isn't if anybody come in contact with me and tell me they're not inspired they're not human right I'm one of the most genuinest people that you will ever meet on the face of this earth. And I know my energy. I'm not taking no bull crap from nobody. I'm straight up. I'm transparent. I'm not here to be liked. I don't care if you personally like me or not. I'm just here to execute the gifts that God gave me. And God already told me he cool with me. So I don't really need a bunch of people to like me. I got this. My T-shirt say God's on my team. It does not say human man or woman is on my team. It says, God, I put all faith, all faith in Jesus Christ. And that's what I focus on the most. And as long as you stop putting human beings on pedal stools, as long as you stop putting all your trust in the humans, then you, then people will not be able to let you down. So when you do something like when you told me we was going to do the interview, if my trust was 100% into you, and then you said, oh my God, like, uh, I can't do the interview. We're going to have to reschedule. Then people get so upset with stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And they feel like, oh, just another person that let me down. So no, I never put my trust in a person. I never put my trust in you. I value what you do, but I don't stand on the foundation of putting you on a pedestal and making you feel like you, you know, you, you, my God or, or anybody. And that's what I think people need to stop doing. And I know that's what people are doing. And what I'm basically saying is if you got 3 million people on, on your social media that follows you, stop worshiping them people that's what i'm speaking into existence and you need to value yourself and appreciate whatever your higher being is that's who you need to give your life to you know whatever it is and that's why i'm so successful because god already told me i was a billionaire man i changed my name to billionaire when i was broke i didn't have no money you know how crazy you got to be to change your name to billionaire when you broke and then make people call you that I did that because that's the level of faith that I have. I don't need nobody else to tell me, it do I really think I'm a billionaire? Absolutely. Well, obviously, um, this has been very informative and you are a very busy man. We just want to know, how can we get a hold of your book or any resources that you may recommend that you have created that people can be in touch with you? considering that maybe somebody's seeing you or hearing from you for the first time. You can actually get in touch with me. Sorry about my eye, man. I wrote this quote that say most people can see, but not everyone has vision. So, you know, I've trained my mind that even when I can't see, I still got visions. <laughs> but if you would like to get in contact with me, man, you can add me at Billionaire PA Instagram. That's it. Don't follow me. Lead with me. I want, we looking for leaders. We got enough followers out there in the world, man lead with us we speaking that into existence and i speak into existence that you will add me you can go on there my book is a high-end customized book to encourage you to speak your dreams into existence to teach you how to develop a wealthy mind i have a wealthy edition which is 
$99.63. 63 is the number of days I slept in my truck. The 99 is the number of times I gave up on God and he never gave up on me once. Then I have the rich edition. It's 6336. The 36 represents the number of months that I was homeless. And then, you know, I have the royalty edition. And yes, I have been selling it. It's $963.36 for a book. And there are people out there who have been supporting this book because they down with my message they know what i'm about and it's only 63 of the royalty edition books ever going to be made in this world and it's the uh, royalty gold edition book and i put the book out there all my friends laughed at me and said i wouldn't be able to buy no 900 dollars book but i told myself if a person can sell sell shoes for a thousand dollars then i can sell a book for 900 because i know that your feet are not more valuable than your mind than your mind wow that's um, very, very powerful right there. Okay, so we're gonna put the links uh, for all the books in there um, for, so that the people that are watching this can follow. Now, do you have any last words for us there, Billionaire PA? What would you encourage whoever has been watching you and if you don't want them to follow, but you want them to lead? So you wanna give them any leadership advice right there? I speak into existence that if you are in Australia and you are in touch with Billionaire's message, I'm speaking into existence that you would do everything that you possibly can to help me get in schools in Australia Australia, corporations in Australia and to inspire my dream is to inspire Australia to speak their dreams into existence I've never been to Australia I've shipped a lot of books to Australia so I would Brit Brit Wilm Wilmington I just want to thank her man for you know what I'm saying one of the people that support it and um, I'm just so grateful you know I'm just naming one of the many people in Australia that has supported this message so I'm very very grateful man and appreciative but my dream is to come to Australia and speak and so that's what I'm throwing in the universe right now well well, thank you so much. I think we're up there with opera and your dream to come to Australia. Um, well, this show is basically for those that really want to start their own digital marketing agency. And you just listened to Billionaire PA just bringing it out there, how he is speaking his life into existence and how he's come from nothing to whatever he is now. All the links are going to be at the bottom. And if you are going to be, um, you know, following or watching us as we go along, Billionaire PA is going to be showing up on our shows sometime soon. That's right, right? Yep. Not a problem. Well, thank you so much. It's been, it's been a pleasure, Mr. PA. No problem, man. Thank you so much, man. Let's connect soon. I really appreciate you. Stay strong, stay positive, and have a wealthy day.